What up, it's your boy Soldier Chris. Another conversation with the gang spitter. And today we're gonna be talking about why the young hitters, why the young generation, why the young goons don't respect the OGs. We're gonna dive right in. Why the young, why the young goon, why the young generation don't respect the OGs. Now, before I, I mean, before I dive in though, I'ma say now nah, I respect the OGs. You know what I'm saying? I always did, I always ran with OGs. Uh, I respect the game. I respect the, the game back in the day, how it was the old ways, which I like that better. You know what I'm saying? I respect um, everything they taught me. Like, I respect the fact that they can, you know what I'm saying, give you the game before you bump your head on a lot of certain mistakes. You know what I'm saying? But um, in this video right here, I'm going to be speaking more on the young, on the young nigga side. You know what I'm saying? Not really. How the how the OGs think? I'm going. I'm going to um, be coming off from the uh, speaking from the from the young nigga perspective. You know what I'm saying? Since I'm a '90s baby, you know what I'm saying. So, on top, one of the reasons why the OGs don't get a lot of respect because, and all this is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? But um, off top is because one. A lot of a lot of a lot of OGs or niggas that claim to be OGs, they don't really got nothing going on. Like they don't really, um, they not really leading the way, right? You see what I'm saying? Like they not really showing nothing. They not they not nothing to look up to no more. You see what I'm saying? Um, back then, back then in the '80s, they and they OGs was something to look up to in the early nineties and the in the late nineties. They OG was something to look up to, and they was and they was something to look up to. Far as the, far as if you a ninety baby, if you a ninety baby now, looking up to them, or if you are, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you like a, I say between like yeah, nineties baby looking up to like the eighties babies, you know, um, they was something to look up to because one, they was getting a lot of money. They had the economy was up a little better. Um, everything was flowing. Everything was flowing good. It was more niggas alive. It was more niggas on the streets. Um, stuff was cheaper back then. It just had a lot of stuff, a lot of show and tell stuff. Now, all the OGs, they ain't got, they got indicted, killed. They just coming out of prison or they just, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of niggas that had, that was the man back in the day. That's, they probably washing cars now. We're not, not saying that's a bad thing. Or they probably um, working at a warehouse, or they could be a truck driver. You know what I'm saying? That too, truck driver too. They don't niggas in the street don't really respect that. Like young niggas, they don't look at that. Like you know what I'm saying? That's the move. Um, they probably you know what I'm saying. Working at a fast food, they probably you know what I'm saying. Um, just a low level drug dealer again. So they don't really, they don't really respect that. And uh, how this young generation is, when they lose respect for you. They can, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can get ugly. Like it can get ugly real quick. Um, if they lose respect for you, it's basically like they'll fuck over you. You know what I'm saying? It's the best way I can, um, I can, I can put it. Like basically, like anything you say, you know what I'm saying? If you, if they feel like you trying to, you know what I'm saying, big dog them in front of people or any kind of situation, they're gonna, they're gonna fuck over you. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like um, a lot of the niggas just telling like old old stories. A lot of the niggas um, let, trying to lay down law and lay down rules that it don't apply. It don't apply to the streets today. Like the game, the change, the whole game from the streets, from everything, the change. So. That's another reason why they don't, you know what I'm saying? They ain't respect them. They was like really glorifying back on the old days. And they not showing nothing, no new improved. They're not showing nothing that's, that's irrelevant to make the young nigga respect. This generation right here is really like, if you don't got nothing, it don't matter what, you, what kind of rep you got or how much you stayed solid, what you had back in the day. If you, don't, if you It's all about, it ain't about what you had, it's all about what you got now. See, the generation before us, they respected they OGs on that on that that over there. 
You know what I'm saying? They didn't, you know what I'm saying, never talk back or get, really get out of line like that. As far as, you know what I'm saying, listening to the OGs and taking their advice, they kind of, like the 60s and 70s, they kind of passed it down. And it kind of, it stayed strong all the way through the 80s and, and the early 90s. Um, it didn't really start changing for the new generation, I'd say, until probably like 2000. In my opinion, like 2000 is when the game started make a turn. I say ever since they started the conspiracy law after they wiped out the mob and all that and then they came out in ninety four. They came out and um they came out and uh and, and when, uh, when um, Bill Clinton came out in nineteen ninety four with that three strike law and all that, that's when the game started to turn. Um and once once the young niggas got older, and they, you know what I'm saying, whoever the first one that stepped up, on, when, when the other, the first young nigga that stepped up and stepped up to an OG and gained and gained respect on that level, um, it, 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 it was over. You know what I'm saying? Once he killed the first one, knocked them off his feet, it was over. Like it, the youth went crazy, and and, and and once 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 other youths, once other young hitters and stuff seen how how um. How much respect and fear you get off that? They just went rapid. Um, I feel like um, the young, the young generation, they tired of the lies. They tired of the, um, the OGs comparing. I mean, they tired of the OGs making it seem like everything that's happening now is just all is is just new. You know what I'm saying? Everything happening right now is just brand new type of stuff. Like I'm gonna give you a lot of examples as far as like. Um, with the shooting and killing, right? Let's let's start with that. These niggas in the, these niggas in the um these OGs would be like, why well, I'm sick of um uh, I'm sick of the, all the violence, all the I'm sick of all the violence and all the street shit. Um, why why young why 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 uh niggas can't hit they talk why young niggas can't hit they target they can't shoot they can't shoot they hitting innocent babies they hitting women. Uh, uh, stuff like that. When <laughs> back in the day, and the, they the ones that started the drive by, from the from the, the drive by hitting kids, killing. They did this shit first. It was way worse back then than it is now. It's only really, really, real bad in like Chicago, like where it's off the chain. But it was still nothing. Never top back in the day murders. So for instance, in 1992. LA had 2,050, 2,558, no, in, two, in 1992, LA had 2,589 murders in one year. 2,589 murders in one year in 1992. So, that's y'all generation. New Orleans had, became the murder capital in 94, with 421 murders. That's y'all generation. Houston, Texas, in like 83, it's 82 or 83, something like that. They had 389 murders. That's y'all generation. Baltimore, in 1993, they had 344 murders. That's y'all generation. In Miami, in 1980, they had 573 murders. That's y'all murders. And then, uh, I think it was the, early, the 89, 88, they had a thousand something murders. That's y'all generation. In, in 1981, in Miami, the first seven months, they had close to 300 some murders. That's y'all generation. In 1974, Detroit had seven, in 1974, Detroit had seven, 754 murders. 1971, Detroit had 751 murders. That's y'all generation. What, you, what we talking about? In the 90s, Washington DC came, became the murder capital. In the early 90s, before New Orleans did, they had uh, 400, over 450 some murders. That's y'all generation. You see what I'm saying? Charlotte, 93, they had close to 200 some murders. That's y'all generation. So I don't understand. You know what I mean? It was plenty of women and kids and innocent people getting killed back then. You know what I'm saying? Like this stuff ain't just started. Like y'all was doing the same shit too. The generation before y'all, 
It was saying the same thing. Now, now you getting saying the same thing about y'all. Now you getting wise and you didn't change. Now it's, it's ridiculous. Now it's crazy. Now it's retarded. But let's jump on this right quick. About the women and children. Now, I know a lot of people ain't gonna like this, but hey, it's the real. Women and children is no such thing in the streets. Women and children is not off limits. Uh, what I mean by that, um, if you, if you, if you, if you date, if you date a nigga and he a jack boy, or he a scammer, or he ran off on the plug type of nigga, or he just in the street gang banging. If that, if you dating him, you now gave all your rights. As American citizen, now you you with him, you the, you you with you with the, you with the drug dealer, you with the killer, you with the the jack boy, you with the scammer, you with the robber. So anything he do, y'all accountable y'all accountable for. So if a plug fronted him twenty bricks, and when a plug and then, and then and then when he send the, the hitters at him and he when they catch him, it's with all y'all. Or he he go to the he go to the door in they 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 supposed to kill everything it ain't yeah why do you why do you feel like y'all supposed to get spared when you enjoying the money when you was with them you you know what I'm saying when you uh uh, uh on, on when you on when you on IG posting saying you with saying you got a real street nigga saying you got this and that just like the police do you the same way. If the Fed see you uh, beat meet your girl, and the Fed see you when they when they taking pictures, they see you at the mall spending money, buying jewelry, buying cars, you get caught in the conspiracy too. The law holds y'all, you know what I'm saying, the same way. So the streets is the same way. You with a jack boy, and you ride with them, let them do jack, let them do um, robbers at your car, let them do, and you or you with a killer, let them do hits at your car, or you taking pictures, throwing up gang signs and stuff like that. You got to deal with the consequences. It's all good, you know. You know what I don't like about a lot of niggas and shit. A lot of OGs and a lot of young niggas, like like everybody who I don't like motherfuckers who listen to gangster rap, right? And then when they see gangster shit happen, it's like, oh, stop the violence, stop the violence. Which, which side, which side are you gonna pick? What you, what you gonna be on? You just rap, you just, you just listen to Kodak Black. But when you see it in real life, now nah, it's that's what these niggas talk about. What you mean when? It, like when that girl just got killed in, in Chicago, died, got killed with her baby in her hand. That's street shit. That's street nigga. That's real street. That's gangster shit. That is gangster shit. It ain't no sympathy for the, for none of that. Because a real woman wouldn't have even dated no nigga like that. A real a real woman wouldn't even you know what I'm saying. Wouldn't even um, wouldn't even fuck with killers and jackboys and stuff like that. They 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 fuck with squares. Or, or regular men type, you wouldn't even put yourself in a predicament. Why would you? Fuck, why would you want to fuck with a nigga that rob? You know he rob. You know he he, he lay shit down. It's all fun and games. A nigga ran off on the plug. When nigga, it's all fun and game when y'all screaming. Ran off on the plug twice. But with that nigga y'all ran off on, come back and spray the whole block. Now it's sad. Oh, the violent nigga stop. What you mean the violent nigga stop? It's, it's street shit. What you mean? He went wrong for that. Nigga got scammed or whatever. I, I come back. I, I lay the whole block down. I don't leave no witness. That's what these rap niggas talking about. That's what you like. That's what you ride down when you in your truck or whatever. You in a trap or whatever. That's, you ride down and listen to gangster shit. You preach that shit. And when it, and you see it, and you see it happen in real life, now it's old. Oh, stop the violence. It's only stop the violence. To, to to the people who's not in the streets, they get they get caught up, they get victim victimized, uh, uh, um, they get caught, they get uh, mistaken identity and all that. Everybody who, if you date a, a street nigga or you in the streets, you are fair game to the streets. You're not gonna get a pass. You're not gonna get a pass. So the niggas ain't gonna spare you. And with the kid thing, they gonna they gonna they gonna, they gonna die too because. They witnesses. Any, any kid over five years old, six years old, that's a witness. So any real, any real street nigga, like a real, like a real killer, 
he gonna lay the whole he gonna lay everything down. Like he ain't gonna they been and they been doing that since the mafia days. So you you, you gotta pick. You know. When, when the gangster rapper die and get killed, it ain't no it ain't no sad. I don't see the thing about me, I don't feel sorry for no nigga that's in the streets. Or gang bang, whether he we don't care what he did for the community. If he active or if he still claiming set when gun violence happened, it, it is what it is. See, you 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 you, you got to stop fooling yourself when you keep saying you only make you only talking to, you only like fooling yourself when you keep saying stop the violence. When the violence never gonna stop. How long we, we've been preaching stop the violence? The America been uh, people have been uh, preaching stop the violence since. Since the beginning of the time, like the devil don't got no powers, like the devil don't got no hitters, like the devil don't got no strength. Violence will never stop. There's too much money in violence for the government. So the only thing you can say is, get out. The people gonna change, gonna change. Get out. Stop the violence. You just fooling yourself. That's like you ain't no worse than them and the government when they say it's a war on drugs. Stop fooling yourself, man. The, the streets ain't gonna change. Get on, the, let me get on the white people. All the serial killers killing fifty women, hundred women, killing men, eating people. That is y'all era. That's y'all era. Even the school shootings. That's y'all era. That shit didn't start in two thousand five. That wasn't. That wasn't the first. That wasn't the first school shooting in two thousand five. What we talking about? Google. How many school shootings been reported in America? That shit go all the way back to the 40s. To the 40s and 50s and shit. What are we talking about? What fucking kid, man? What else, what else old niggas be tripping about? The young niggas. The fighting thing. Let's get on that. They swear young niggas... They say young niggas don't fight no more. And they say they did. And I just... All the, you see all the, how the murder rate was back then. How, how was y'all fighting in LA when y'all had oh, damn near close to 3,000 murders in one year? How was y'all fighting in New Orleans when you had 500, close to 500 some murders? How was you fighting in, how was y'all fighting so much back then and in, in Florida had a th uh, over 1,000 murders in one year? How was you fighting back then when DC was the murder capital and, and from 1990 to 93 to New Orleans took over in 94? What we talking about? Fighting, and the last time I checked, last time I checked, if you go to prison to this day, the juvenile part and the youth spread is have more is more violent far as fighting wise than the adult spread. The adult spread really on some respect shit. Really, you ain't gonna get in a lot of fights. Really, like it ain't it ain't a lot of shit going on, uh, uh, like it is in the, in the juvenile and youth spread. They hitting in the youth spread. They hitting in the juvenile. So I don't understand when they be saying young niggas don't fight. Yeah, they do. They do just like how y'all did. Y'all fought and y'all shot. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't. You know what I'm saying I can understand why them young niggas get mad. Um, yeah, I can understand why them, they gonna keep killing and checking and um checking OGs and shit and killing them. Which I feel like the OGs scared of the young niggas now. Like I feel like um. I feel like now the mindset of a young nigga now and how it's so easy to get guns now. I feel like a OG. I feel like a young nigga is an OG worst nightmare when it comes to just gunplay. I feel like that. I feel like they they ready for you. They ready to kill your whole family and you come back like you swear you is gonna do if somebody kill your mama or your 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 kids or something. They ready because they 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 been trying to kill you every day. They they waking up trying to, they waking up with murder on their mind every day. You only get killed if if something happened to your family. They kill for no reason. Just for rank. So you don't even have a lot of practice. And and I'm talking about regular citizens in the street. You don't even have a lot of practice. So and you know what I'm saying? They just ready for they ready for gunfire. Um 
So yeah, I cleared up. I cleared up. I cleared up about the fighting situation. Um, let's talk about the snitching thing. A lot of OGs were just the era of the snitching. When Sammy the Bull took down damn near the whole mafia. When them, when they ratted in the goddamn uh, the Gambino family, uh, they, most of them they told it. Look up all the mobs. So they they said have they told it. When, once they came out with the conspiracy law, everybody started breaking. John got to keep it real, but a lot of them didn't. What about Frank Lucas? Then he tell he told it right. Alpo told it right. Ray for Evan told it right. Nikki Bonds. Told it right. This is everybody. This all. This is y'all generation now. They got. They got the documentaries on you now. Right, boy, Rick. Ugh. Yeah, he, yeah, he told it. Even when they made movies about y'all kingpins, they told it. Ugh. Nino Brown. Yeah. All that shit, man. It's all. Uh, I think Guy Fisher and them told it too. A lot of the motherfuckers, man, wrote statements and told it. So don't try to don't try to put this shit on a new era like this shit new. You can ask all you, they did documentaries on this stuff. You ask so you may tell me if I ask a, a police officer that was a FBI agent that was that was active in the eighties and in the nineties, they gonna say nah. The average drug dealer they didn't tell. They wasn't cooperating. Well, I just looked it up and the government said they didn't gave out uh, over 108 million since 93. That's y'all era. How was how was how was drug dealers getting taken down if it wasn't no if it wasn't no snitching? Or people were uh, informants and shit wasn't happening in the eighties. How was people's houses getting kicked in? Through the informants. My informants buying dope at the house. What we talking about? Now this the new now this the new era. Of snitches killing the mother who they told on. That's what the new era is. Uh, the mother who tell it, they, they got them picking up their gun and laying and laying shit down. And they telling it. That's what's that's what's kind of new. Um. So ain't no snitching shit just started now. So we cover that. What else? Uh, let's cover the drug thing. Alright. How a lot of these old heads, the OGs say this this generation right here is drug addicts when in the eighties all all them they all got them kingpins was on coke. Fuck is you talking about? Y'all y'all was shooting hair on, snorting. Like y'all favorite movies, Appuccino and Scarface. Uh, y'all was got them playing with y'all nose, smoking yay. It was a new, it was, it was a new thing. So, so all, most of, most of y'all motherfuckers would get high. What you just talking about? So y'all weren't playing with y'all nose and smoking yay and, and, and doing and doing mel. I mean, I mean doing PCP and doing wet, dipping cigarettes and and and, 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 and shooting heroin and all that there. Y'all just want to smoke and weed? Come on now. Y'all been goddamn dope fiends. Y'all was just functional dope fiends. Some of y'all niggas was goddamn um, just making a lot of money, stacking a lot of paper, and still supplying your high. Supporting your high and all that though. So, what you talking about on that? It's just the drug, just just cause it's rap, a lot of rappers now, they own it, they promote it a lot. Y'all motherfuckers were still doing the same shit. So, miss me with all that duh. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the young niggas don't respect you because y'all don't keep it real with yourself. And, this, and, and not only they, gonna, they ain't respecting you, they checking you, running y'all off the block. So, um, what's another thing? What's another thing we gotta uh, cover? Oh, I'm gonna get another. Uh, let's cover. Uh, yeah, and to my ladies, watch. Be careful what you wish for. Stop fucking with these street niggas. 
You want a nigga that's in the street, get you a Jay-Z type of nigga. Get you, it don't gotta be, I mean, when I say Jay-Z type of nigga, he don't gotta be that rich. I'm just saying, get you a nigga that was probably, that was, uh, 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 um, that was in the street that didn't change his life. That didn't, that been, he been out the streets for a minute now, and now he on the, the right path. Like, a party hard. That's a prime example. Like, get a nigga like that. That, that way you got both sides, you got, he still got he got the street he know the streets and now nah, he he came out that mindset so he still got the street mentality the, the tactic he came out that mindset now he read he on the right path like me he on the right path now he on business now he on businesses and more uh, d different sources of income and now he gonna think before he react that's what you want something like that. Not somebody who really active. That's in the streets is doing still doing dirt every day. Cause his karma gonna become your karma. His demons gonna become your demons. His death wishes gonna become your death wishes. You're gonna get killed. Because if I was I'ma be honest. If I was in the streets, I wouldn't give y'all no pass. I I mean if I cut if I catch you, I catch you. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta understand how like hitters, you gotta understand how killers. We're not talking about gangsters, so cause they just they gangsters thing just no. We talking about killers. Fuck being getting saying what's gangster what's not. They ain't got nothing to do with a nigga pulling that trigger. So you gotta think like nigga might want to kill your bitch just to make you suffer. You know what I'm saying? So I might and it, it's easier to catch your bitch. That's how nigga, that's how young niggas thinking like. Right? Just to make you suffer, or just to make you come, they get, they get tired of looking for you. Cause a lot of niggas be hiding, they get tired of looking for you, then they, they gun your bitch down, cause she's still gonna be out in the open, leaving her location on. This shit going on every day, man. I'm gonna better wake up, man. Stop fucking up. Stop listening to these rappers. These rappers ain't in, they ain't in the street. Some of them are. Nah, don't get me wrong, now. I, all of them ain't fake. Some of them are. Um, but most of them, ninety percent of them, not. So they're not living that lifestyle. So you need to listen to that shit just for entertainment and keep it pushing. Cause uh, uh um, you ain't ain't, ain't up a jail, a death wait for y'all. Even if you ain't, even if y'all think y'all innocent, and y'all not. You y'all not. That ain't how the streets work. Who are you? To say to give street laws, you you don't lay you don't lay the law down in the streets. The, the laws already been set. It's just a lot of rules been broken. Um. So you need to watch who you have a baby by. I know it sounds good when you when you got when you hit a rap song and but you got with the rappers uh, saying you got your rich ass scamming ass nigga. But what about the the nigga he scammed? They got a lot of rank. It's gonna come back and, and spin the block and, and kill everything. It's gonna come back and just keep shooting shit up. Don't give a fuck about getting a life sentence. Don't give a fuck about going to prison. Dang, he, they ain't even on his mind. He, that's the head put prison on his mind once he get in the courtroom. And there ain't never murder on his mind. You the scandal. And who I find first? Your wife and your kids. So, um, you know what I'm saying? Stay away from niggas. Get you a nigga that was in it, and I ain't in it no more. That's my best advice to the, to the ladies that, that love street niggas and thugs and shit. Cause the, the female rappers that rap all that that crazy shit, like the city girls, they don't tell you about the girls that get found in, like fucking on these scamming ass niggas and these and, these, and selling pussy and shit and being a prostitute and all that. They don't tell you about the girls that get found in a dumpster. They don't tell you about the, the hoes they get. They gotta go through that clinic and get and get them diseases they can't cure because they fucking on. They lying, but they talking about fucking with upscale niggas. You everyday life, you gonna be fucking with the neighborhood dope boy, the nigga who got the round body, the nigga who got the Chevy, the nigga who got the don't, the nigga who got. Just a regular charge or something on 24s or 22s. 
They got God know what kind of disease. That's nigga. That's your choice. You don't get the fuck the the nigga who got millions of dollars. You don't even get close to him. The closest you ever get to him, if he, if he is a rapper, is at a concert or in a club. So, ladies, I'm gonna do another video and get get the ladies some game though on that shit, duh. Cause y'all gotta do better. Uh, um, cause I don't like to see y'all get killed and shit. Um, me and the kids get killed, but you make it fair game. I don't, I don't, I don't like to see it, but I don't feel sorry for it because you chose to fuck them type of niggas, and you gotta get what come with the game. Just like the government don't feel sorry for you when you spend the dope man money and you throw you in a conspiracy. Or you kept and you and wiretaps on the phone, and they throw you in a conspiracy. So that that what it is. Um, get back on topic. Um, I feel like the streets gonna get worse because man, these young niggas they like killing. You know what I'm saying? Um, they love killing. Like I talked to a couple of Chicago. I got a couple of Chicago niggas I've been fucking with, but um, they love it. They love the smoke. Um. They love the war. They love it. They 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 just it's, it's a lot of niggas across America. That, um, and when I say niggas, I mean just like all type, just gangsters type, uh, um, all type of criminals. You know what I'm saying? They love it. They love the drama. They love it. They with it. And we ain't talking about once the, after they do the crime and they go to court and they do and they go. Ain't gotta go to trial and all that. We ain't talking about that because, or when they writing statements and stuff. We ain't talking about that because that's that that's then, because none of that stuff can save you while you on the streets. So we just talking about how they how, they might not can't scrap or nothing like that. But they pick up that they pick up that they pick up that that fire and go to work with that motherfucker. Another thing, uh, uh, young niggas don't like you no know, OGs be always doing is um. They always talk behind. They always talk behind young niggas back. Young, young, the, the young generation back. They always say with well, the young generation to stop doing behind their back. But they, they won't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. They won't walk up on them. They won't. If if it's six, seven young niggas on in, in front of the corner store, you ain't finna go up. You ain't finna go up on them niggas. Be like the shit y'all doing out on the streets, coward shit. They ain't no. They ain't gangsta shit. They ain't. They, they ain't being a man. All this nonsense. Y'all niggas need to start doing this. Y'all need to start doing that. Cause you know they gon' You know what I'm saying? You know they gon' You see what I'm saying? So you gotta be you gotta be you gotta be mindful of that. Um You know them niggas ain't going for that. They gonna run you right off the block and they gonna send a lot of bullets at you. And motherfuckers and motherfuckers talk so street niggas hear everything, man. Streets talk so they hit they hit this little slick hit. Slick hate. Slick, slick soldier hate, so that's why they're gonna keep coming at. That's why they're they gonna keep coming strong like that. Um, let me see. Let's let me touch on this right quick. Another thing, young nigga.